My name is Carolyn Berry and I'm the owner of Clean Colonic. When I say that, it makes me smile because it's not something that I thought I would ever say I was an owner of. Prior to me owning this business and creating multiple locations, I had written a book and was doing self-help and helping people and in that avenue. But my own journey with my physical body having problems is what led me into opening the colon hydrotherapy business. Clean Colonic and Family Practice, how can I help you? I did at one point test positive with COVID, which was surprising because I saw hundreds of people in my clinic and was not affected until I went to California and stayed with my family in close quarters and ended up getting sick. I was tired, um, I had these low grade headaches. It was hard for me to see clients because I couldn't energetically stand and explain things to them like I, I used to. Five months later, I still felt congested. I had this um, thickness I would feel in my neck. Um, I have this pain in my forehead and it was frustrating because I had been to the doctor and he said it was just gonna take time. I had to you know, rebuild my strength in my lungs again. Not only did I still feel a little bit winded and had that pressure in my chest, now I feel like I have increased brain fog. And unfortunately, that brain fog is what has been bothering me the most because I'm a sharp individual, but I saw myself continually making mistakes. I had been to this healing center a few times prior I thought, well, I should go again. The first time I had great results, and the second time I, I felt even better. So I felt, well, it's time to, for me to go and do what I know is best for my body and give me the space to heal as well, which is this healing center in Honduras. The founder is no longer with us. He has since passed, but his family is continuing to run this center. Their premise is that if you have a lot of mucus in your body built up, that's where the disease starts. Like right now, I can feel this part in my brain from here inside that is kind of thick. It's almost like when you feel like you want to spit up, but you just can't. I constantly have that feeling. It's almost like the lining needs to be stripped. So you might be asking, why am I going a third time? And my reason for that is because um, I just feel that something has to change. And um, there's something physically going on inside of me that I need to address. And I don't exactly know what that is, but I do know that this center is the one that can help me because it has prior. I am so hopeful that going to this healing center um, in Honduras is going to help me take care of some of these things and lift these burdens that I feel in my brain, in my chest, in my stomach. I, I believe this is the answer for me. It took a long day of traveling to get to Honduras. I was picked up at the airport by my friend who is native to this country. One thing I love about traveling to other countries is how they drive. It was, how can I say this? It was a unique experience and I was so glad he was driving. We arrived late at night and I was kind of tired, but I was glad to see that we were greeted by a security guard and it reminded me that I'm always safe and secure at this facility. I was shown to my room where I was able to get some much needed rest. Honduras is a Central American country with around 9 million residents. It is best known for its bananas, coral reefs, Mayan ruins, and scarlet macaws. This was my third time here, but I never seemed to get tired of the majestic mountains, the beauty of the jungle, and the pristine setting. The rich soil is well suited for growing many fruits and vegetables. I was glad to see Irma. Listen as she explains what to expect when you stay here. Once you arrive here at the Usha village, we provide you a tour. The next day, um, we provide you a consultation. In this consultation, we explain you a little bit about 
what this process is gonna be about, what the herbs are gonna be doing to you. So according, if you bring like a specific condition or a specific diagnosis, we tell you what type of herbs are good for yourself. You're gonna be removing mucus, acids and toxins out of your body, breaking up the inflammation in your body and regenerating your cells. It was time for Irma to give me a little tour. The highlight is the geothermal water. Its alkalinity is what makes this place special. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna start showing you the thermal water pool. Okay. This water is hot thermal water, Okay. right? Uh, most of the patients, what they do is they bring their cup early in the morning, they put some hot thermal water and they drink it. It helps in breaking up the inflammation in the body and it also helps in for us to gain all the minerals we need. Okay. As you know, our body is made up of water, so we need to be hydrating ourselves too. Okay. Okay. Most of the patients, what they do is that they add up some eucalyptus leaves, some lemongrass leaves, oh. some soursop leaves, just to give it a, a little bit of taste. You know, our skin is our largest organ. So through our skin, we are removing toxins, releasing toxins of our body, and we're also gaining all the minerals we need. So as you can see right here, we have the thermal water pool. We normally come here twice a day, morning and evening for 20 minutes. What this water does, it breaks up the inflammation in your body and it helps you to gain all the minerals you need. So does the water come directly from the mountain? That's kind of what yes, I heard. Yes, it comes directly from the mountain. We have the natural sauna too. Through our pores, we are releasing the toxins we have. Uh. This is thermal water right here. Then we have the sauna. The sauna, you come here twice a day too, morning and evening for 15 minutes. But you don't do the 15 minutes all at once. First you do five minutes, you come out, you hydrate yourself, you take a shower and then you go back in. Okay. Okay, till your 15 minutes are done. This was Dr. Sebi's house before. Okay. Now it's the office. There is where we have consultations, you know, anything you need. The office is open from Mondays to Fridays from 8 a.m. to 4, Saturdays from 8 to 12. The complete village, right, it has 20 rooms. It can come approximately from 25 to 30 people. We have the mango tree. And we can eat those when they're on the ground? Yes, you can pick them up from the tree or from the ground. Okay. We have the sour sauce, but there's one right here. Oh Look, my that's gosh. Growing. That one right there. Yes. You can take those leaves and, and you can add them up in your bottle in the of thermal, hot thermal water. water. Yes. To make a tea. Yes. We have the nursing 24-7. She's the one in charge of taking your herbal treatment to your room. So you receive your herbal treatment morning, evening, and at night time. This is where you receive your breakfast and your lunch. Food can be served at your room or either here. You decide whether you can come here or at your room. For breakfast, you normally receive a plate of fruits, then you have the vegan meal for lunch, and then you have simas for dinner. Okay. Simas is the only thing you get for dinner time. Okay, you're taking your herbs, you're doing your natural sauna, your thermal water pool, if you like reading books, you know, if you like singing, this, this is a good place for you, you know, to find your inner self. It was time for my consultation. This is where a staff member creates a customized wellness plan just for you. You know, this is my third time. So the first time I was here was awesome. I loved everything that I took. I felt really good when I came home. The second time I felt even better and I felt like I continued to heal. Um, so my plan was to always kind of come here once a year anyway, just for general detox. But in December, I got really sick. Unfortunately, I got hit with COVID. Okay. And so since then, my brain fog has been really bad and my fatigue has been really bad. So that's what I wanna work on to see if there's something that could like, you know, detox the brain or help with the brain fog. I don't really know, but I remember being so clear when I left here and having so much energy and I didn't have any joint pain. So I figured if I start there, then maybe my body can help heal itself when I'm home. Okay. So what do you recommend for um, my treatment plan? Okay, so the protocol that we're gonna be following you know that this, um, it goes, the alkaline diet goes hand by hand with an herbal treatment. 
Okay, you're gonna be taking capsules and you're gonna be taking liquids. The capsules, I provide them to you and you're the one in charge of taking them on the time we're gonna write on your regiment. Okay. And then the liquids, the nurse take them to your room. Okay. okay. She handed me my herbal supplements for all of the days while I'm here to start me on my healing path. She explained what each one does. But also you have to remember to continue your alkaline diet too. Because yes. you know that if you're consuming acidic foods or foods that have, you know, that are too acid, you're consuming mucus. So mucus is going to start regenerating in your system. So you will have to be cleansing your body in like maybe every three months. Then she gave me the list of the liquids I needed to drink. Okay, so these are the liquids you're going to be taking. We have the Maya. She gave me a list of three different liquids and explained to me what they would do. So you take two cups daily, one cup in the morning time and one cup in the evening time. Remember that you need to be hydrating yourself as much as you can, drinking at least two thermos of thermal water, taking your CMOS, doing your sauna and the, your thermal water pool session, and you know the alkaline meals that we offer here at Pusha Village. Okay. Okay, is there any question that you might have? No. No? Are you clear with everything? Yes. <laughs> okay. I was serious about this health regimen. I was drinking lots of alkaline water, taking the herbal supplements, and drinking the liquids twice a day. Okay, these bitters are very bitter. why they're called bitters. This is the Maya and um, to try to compare it to something it's like a fruit juice. It's not as bitter, it's more of a sweet. It goes down a lot easier. Cheers to her. Not so bad. We're gonna go fill up and get our, um, here's that brain fog. We are going to go fill up our thermal water. Every morning, I would wake up to this delicious breakfast. It's all fruit. We've got papaya, cantaloupe, grapes with seeds, and some apples. Delivered to your room every morning. So we're starting our body off with, you know, being alkaline. So the fruits that we consume are those that only have a seed and that can reproduce itself. That's nature's way. Now I'm getting ready to go and steam. And this steam is not like the States. It's, well, you're gonna experience it. Maybe you won't see the time, but I can only really stay in there for like three to five minutes before I'm just too hot and I gotta get out. And you're sweating like nobody's sweat. Like I have a sauna bag at home. I've been to the steam room. There's nothing like this kind of sauna here at this facility. Okay, so this is the steam. As you're taking all these herbs and you're mixing and getting things up, you wanna sweat it out. Get it out of your system. This is gonna help do that. So four to five minutes in, go rinse off, go back in. You know, I feel amazing because you can feel not only is your temperature um, hot on the outside, you can feel it kind of melting that mucus. It's almost like I want to spit up, but it's not really ready yet. And I can really feel it 
you know, break in through, which is fantastic. So I want to get all that out of my system. After completing the sauna to open up the pores, letting the impurities sweat out, you go to the thermal pool. I loved my daily soaks in the pool. Since our skin is our largest organ, this is how I absorb all of the minerals from the thermal water. Right now it feels like a warm hot tub. Not a hot hot tub, but a pretty good warm one. So I'm feeling kind of weak. That steam took a lot out of me and then just getting to this pool right away. So I'm gonna take it easy again. I'm listening to my body. I'll probably only do 10 minutes in here and then come back this afternoon. Then it would be time for a yummy lunch. So I'm pretty sure this is probably a tamale inside banana leaves. All alkaline, veggies. Mmm, so good. It was time for a check-in to see how I was feeling. So the herbs have been working. I felt finally a shift in my brain, like right here. I was almost describing it as like, you know, when you rip a scab off and you can kind of feel it. It's kind of how I felt. Something moved. Which is good. So I had a rough day yesterday. I was super tired and headachy. But I don't feel that same pressure here, which is really good. And I don't know if that's herbs or the steam is amazing. It's not like the steam in the States. Like I can barely only be in there for like five minutes. And you can start to feel everything start to melt internally it's kind of um it's intense and it, it's it's uh it's a good feeling i actually look forward to getting up and doing my steam and sauna in the pool so yeah that's what the healing's all about You know, once I'm in here, it feels fantastic. You know, sometimes the battle is just getting there, <laughs> showing up when you're tired and achy, my joints starting to hurt. I think everything's coming from deep, you know, in my muscle tissue. And sometimes I'll just be in here stretching. But you can see right away, it's just starting to come out, sweating. Healing from the inside out is what it's all about. <laughs> oh.
So this is my third time coming to Honduras. And the first time that I came here, I came with a group because I was kind of nervous coming by myself. The second time I came, I came by myself. So that's kind of why I wanted to share my testimony because you can come here by yourself. It's safe, they have security guards walking around. There's not a lot of traffic from outside. Once you're in the gates, these are the people that are here to um, heal and get better. I'm being very intentional with the medicine and the herbs because when you're taking it in, you're almost confirming what it's doing for you, such as bringing oxygen to your brain, uh, nourishing your cells. The sea moss is giving you all the minerals. When I'm steaming, I'm thinking about the things that I want to let go of. So I always joke that the one thing I'm continuously working on for myself is self-criticism and perfectionism because those are the two things that I feel like keep haunting me. I don't really worry about what other people think of me. It's more the inner critic. Maybe you can relate because I'm just super hard on myself. There are certain goals that I set for myself or the way that I want to feel, the way that I want to look. When I'm in the sauna and I'm processing, I'm imagining that each one of those sweat bubbles that coming out is that energy leaving my body. So then when I leave the sauna and I'm rinsing off and I'm taking in that new water and that water is refreshing and it's nourishing and it's cleansing, I'm replacing that energy of the things that I want, right? Like self-love and confidence and whatever else it is that I'm feeling in that moment to just replace that energy with what I was releasing. It could be you healing from a relationship. It could be healing from a trauma. It could be healing from, you know, your own anger and frustration. The process is to take that out of your body and remove it and allow your body to take in that new energy. So when healing, there's a cleansing process. There's the cleansing internally with your physical body. And then there's the spiritual cleansing and the emotional cleansing and the energetic cleansing. And part of the energetic cleansing that we're gonna be doing is cleansing the outside of your body and setting the intentions that we're releasing that energy that maybe no longer serve you or those protection mechanisms that you've put up against you. What is it that you truly believe now versus what maybe you grew up thinking or the world has taught you? And this is a time for you to look at that and say, okay, is this something that I believe? Is this something that I know is my truth? Or did somebody tell me that and it just became a part of me? What's yours versus somebody else's? So when I'm in the thermal pool, I've already done my process of releasing. I'm taking in that nutrients, I'm taking in that water, and I'm confirming that it's bringing oxygen to every part of me. So I'm putting the water in my face and in my eyes and in my ears, and I'm confirming that this water is healing every part of me internally and externally. And then when I'm relaxing and sunbathing, I'm taking in that vitamin D naturally and I'm allowing that warmth and that sun to kiss my skin and heal me from the inside out. And I'm just trying to move through life with ease and minimize my suffering as much as possible. I don't come here to explore Honduras. I don't come here to take in the food or what is the culture. It's about coming here and being committed to the healing process. I don't necessarily believe in one life purpose. I believe in what is my purpose now in this moment. And when I realized that, it took a lot of pressure off because I thought before I was gonna miss that. I'm gonna miss my life purpose. I'm not on the right track. There's all this hurry and this timeline and this achievement that I had to have. And I realized that's not it. When we're in the present moment, that's when I feel like we're truly aligned to God. The rich soil of Honduras is great for growing trees and vegetation. I love the fact that this property has many different fruit-bearing trees. One of my favorites is the tamarind tree. It produces these brown pod-like fruits that look like squishy peanuts. They contain a sweet, tangy pulp. Tamarinds have antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties which can protect against disease. Yummy. It's like a, a chewy candy. Cliff was my next door neighbor and he bought a few coconuts. He trimmed and opened it with a machete. 
and I got to drink delicious, fresh, raw coconut water. Fresh coconut, it's the best. But by far, my favorite tree was the mango tree. These juicy little fruits would fall to the ground and I would find the ones that were ripe. Mangoes are on the alkaline plan. They are nutrient rich and help with digestion and boost immunity. Look at all these mangoes. I'm in mango heaven. Oh, look at this yummy mango. So good. Very messy. <laughs> Not long after this, I was able to enjoy a beautiful and powerful thunderstorm. So one thing I love about the rain, kind of reminds you when you're a kid, and you just want to go and play outside and just be in the rain. And sometimes you can lose that kind of stuff as adults, right? But for me, I love it. I love the cleansing part of it. I love, I love every element possible. So when I hear that thunder and the lightning, to me that's transformational. It's um, just another process of moving energy and, you know, being present to nature. Can you hear that? The smell of the rain on the ground, the sound of the leaves rustling in the wind, and the beauty of the nightfall was setting in. Now it was time for my sea moss. Part of the program is you have your breakfast, which is fruit, and then you have your alkaline lunch. And then after four o'clock, you start drinking your sea moss. And this comes straight from the sea. It comes literally like dried. And then they make it out of a gel. So I'm gonna see you pour it. So it's like a sea moss tea. And you're gonna get all of your minerals through this. So this is how you're nourishing your body. It feels like there's like a cinnamon and maybe a little bit of agave so it goes down really smooth. When I make it at home, it's just straight sea moss. So I take the gel, put it in hot water, and just down it. So it's really nice to come to Honduras and get a really good cup of sea moss because I don't make it like this. Mm, it's so good. One nice thing about this place is the quiet time. Throughout the week, I was able to find time to journal, meditate, think, plan, and write out my goals. Our body needs a good reset, and our body needs the attention, like a facility like this, for us to be able to give our body the nourishment and the time out and the rest that it needs. Because I get focused, and I get excited, and I love building a business, that's not hard work for me. It's a passion of mine. You know, with the work that I do, I see a lot of people who need healing and they're very sick. And whether it's physical or mentally or even spiritually, it doesn't matter what they're trying to heal from. It's all healing. And people need that support. And for me to be able to support them, I myself, as a practitioner, as a healer, as a facilitator, whatever title you want to give me, it's about being able to be my strongest, and that's physically, mentally, and spiritually. And that's why I continue to work on myself and make sure I'm as clear as possible so that way I can be there for people the way that I know God designed me to be. The way that my brain is, I can handle a lot of things. I can multitask. I'm very quick. I can make decisions quickly. I can solve a problem quickly. I pride myself in that. But when that brain fog hit me, I want to describe that a little bit because the vision that I'm getting is that cloudiness, but it's almost like, imagine if you had a sentence written out and then all of a sudden you take a dry eraser and you just erase the middle of it. I had no direction on where to go. It's like I would go here and then all of a sudden there was this blank and I couldn't see how to formulate the rest of the sentence. I didn't know how to go around it. I literally could not process that blank piece. And normally, Carolyn being sharp and, and on it would be able to, somebody erase that or if I erase it, it's like, oh, no problem, here it is. This is the answer, this is how we solve it. This is what we do. 
And because I couldn't do that, that scared me to the point where it started to affect me mentally because I was scared. I didn't want to stay stuck in that, that whiteboard with no information, not being able to formulate my words or hold space for people or see a direction. I was actually scared that, wow, this, this cannot be my life. This has to be temporary because I don't know how to function without that. So I'm very grateful now um, of how my brain works because I used to be kind of frustrated because I could never turn it off. And it's like I have a new found appreciation for my brain and how it processes. I have a new appreciation for God and how God communicates with me and gives me this what I call intel or implants for myself or for people. I really didn't understand it before, but that moment that it was taken away, I want nothing more than to have it come back to me. And already by me being able to talk through this, I feel like there's hope because it's coming back. I'm already feeling stronger, I'm feeling clearer. It's like that whiteboard now has a bunch of letters in the middle of it, and all I gotta do is go in and put it together. But I'm happy because it's there. It's amazing how our body heals itself when we give it what it needs. People come from all over for different healing benefits. I met some that shared their experience with me. I've had trouble finding answers essentially to some of my own personal health issues over the past five years now. It mainly concerns my skin and so I found out about the alkaline diet and, and Dr. Sebi's research and healing methods uh, a few years ago. It's been about me trying to figure out a diet that works for me that doesn't cause my skin to itch, uh, whether it be on my thighs or on my arm or my acne breaking out. I've done different cleanses at home, uh, but I felt like it would be a more authentic experience to come here and get the direct form of herbs and care and, and help from people who knew him directly. Since I've been here, uh, people have told me that they've noticed that my skin on my face has cleared up since I first got here last week. So that will be a benefit for me. That means a lot because uh, it's something that I struggled with. As far as me using bathroom, um, I did have a problem going to the bathroom, um, but haven't had no problem doing that. <laughs> so uh, those are some of the benefits that I've noticed. The first thing I did um, was order some herbs, because um, I actually, let me start off with my uh, condition, I have asthma. So um, after, you know, watching the Dr. Sebi videos and understand that all disease manifests through our pretty much our diets and um, our lifestyle. I started being more conscious about that and I started actually practicing it. And I noticed a change in my health. I've been here for about a week. Um, since I've been here, I've been, you know, through the uh, sauna that opens up your pores and allows you to sweat head to toe. They got a pretty good regimen of taking herbs, drinking the water, watching what you eat. Um, it just, like you say, it's all about cleansing the body um, and then nourishing the body. Because it's my third time being here. I wouldn't come back three times if it wasn't something special about this place. It's a beautiful place. Um, the people here are friendly. I always tell people this is my favorite place to come and it's just about recharging the battery. I strongly suggest you try this place out. With the alkaline waters, that's one of a kind here. The regimen of the diet, it's love. It's natural, it's healing. Try this out, don't give up on life. You're gonna definitely feel better leaving than you did coming in here. It offers you a peace of mind and it also offers you an opportunity to rejuvenate your body in many different ways. Removing inflammation, removing mucus out your body. And that's what caused you to be sick anyway, but the herbs, they do. They do the removal. The people are great. The nurses are great. It's a beautiful experience. I'm here because two years ago, I found out that I had lupus. 
in a condition called hydrodenitis superativa, which is a skin disease. And I guess it stems from the lupus that I've endured over the time. And with the sulfur and phosphate being the healing chemicals, I mean, it comes from the volcanoes and it being what is cleansing our bodies to use it in the saunas and in the pools and in the water that we bathe in. That was something different than what I've learned from other, you know, herbalists and medical doctors and th things like that. So to get that perspective was something that I wanted to try myself. I've been here at this point for a week and a half. I got here and my body was, I couldn't, I, I couldn't walk. I was very stressed out because of that, a lot of pain. I'm on a certain medicine called prednisone, which is a steroid. Something that I wanna get off because of what it does to your liver and kidneys. It, it, the long-term effects is more damaging than what I'm actually dealing with. And it was about three or four days that I seen the drastic change in my body. And it totally pulled the inflammation because that's what lupus is, is inflammation all over the body, wherever it decides to go. I can't walk because I have this throbbing pain, spasms and things like that. Being in the thermal water, taking the herbs and being just around positive energy, I can feel the change. Now mind you, I've been dealing with this for two and a half years, you know what I'm saying? And you take medicines and doctors give you medicines and it's temporary relief and whatever the case may be, but there hasn't been a time where, okay, if, what happens if I don't have the medicine? Well, these herbs are, actually working in my body i can feel it. i can feel myself getting better i'm not 100 percent. i won't tell you that i'm 100 percent, but i'm not 40 percent like i was before when i first got here so almost just a little shy of miraculous During my downtime here, I was able to do a nice meditation. And one of the questions I've been asking myself recently is, how do I get back to me? And as a business owner, as a friend, as a family member, I knew that I was somewhat scattered, if you could relate to that. I saw this image of me standing here, and I heard to focus on my heart, the heartbeat. So I just kept focusing on that heartbeat. Then I saw these images of butterflies and they would go out and experience and feel. And then as soon as I focused on that heartbeat, they all came back. And I could see them resting with their wings just flapping. And then I was asking, how can I manage the outside world? How can I deal with the things that come up? Because we live in this world, where we're gonna have distractions and stress. And how can I stay within that balance? And then I got another visualization of a bee and this bee was hovering next to me and the butterflies. The bee represented all of the world and the people and the distractions, all of it. But it was curious and it just wouldn't leave me alone. And what I realized is there's two types of people in this world. There's butterflies and there's bees. And bees and butterflies don't fly together. I thought that once you healed something, let's just say anger for the sake of it. Once you healed that, you would never get angry again. I don't know where or how I thought that, but I really thought that once you healed something, it was healed, it was gone, like psh. And then I realized that it's because we live in this world, things are gonna happen, we're gonna have that emotion come up, but it's what you do with it. It's what, what you say, it's how you handle it, it's the tools to help you process it. You know, we healed something, so we move this way. So if we, if we look at just the sake of example that the darkness is over here, the light is over here. The depth of that anger goes deeper, but also so does this depth of this light moving this way. You've got butterflies and you've got bees. I may be a butterfly, but I also am a bee. But I'm also aware that things are gonna come up and I have to deal with the nastiness of other people, the greed, the suffering of other people. You're in this human body and you also are showing up like a bee. And with that comes the stinging and the praying and the distractions and the nuisance. And what I need to achieve is to stay in that neutral state and that balance and have a knowing that there is the butterflies 
and the bees. You can decide today, do you want to be a bee or do you want to be a butterfly? And it's all up to you. Fire is an essential element. It can help us by burning away what no longer serves us. I love the releasing technique with fire. The first thing is to sit with your thoughts and think about what you want to release. Don't judge the process. Whatever comes up for you, just write it down. After setting your intentions, rip up the paper into little pieces, changing the energy. It's just about releasing it, taking it from you, putting it in this paper, and then we're going to essentially destroy it and move all of that energy that we don't want and that doesn't serve any part of our body and our being out of us. Now it's time to create a fire. It can be as simple as this. So now as we're releasing, we're letting go and just imagining it again as that smoke leaves, it's the same as it's leaving our body. We've confirmed it. It's already gone and this is where we're gonna be grateful that it's left us. So now what we're gonna do as we release that and the energy is gone, we're gonna take in the new energy of whatever it is that we wanna fill ourselves back up with. That desire of our heart, of our spirit, of our body. So whether you want abundance, joy, laughter, grace, new relationship, new career, you wanna bring that energy and fill it back up into your body because we've released and now we're filling back up. So we're changing the energy. Use smoke to bring in the new energy to replace what you've released. So it's not about clearing the energy around you, it's actually inviting in the energy and the spirit to help you and assist you to bring in those things that you are wanting and desiring in your life. And then you just wanna confirm that you are supported. Release, let go. We're making the way for the new energy and this is about bringing that new energy to us. And then as I'm sitting here, I'm just confirming all of those things and I'm visualizing what it would look like, you know, for that new love or that new relationship, that new career, whatever it is that you wanted to bring into your life, you're visualizing what that would look like. And you're putting yourself in that situation. You want to make that imagination and that manifestation real by confirming it with your images in your mind. And then you're gonna add the emotions. How does it excite you? What's the feeling that it brings you? And you just wanna sit with that joy inside you that you're bringing that, like it's on its way. You're like saying, thank you, it's on its way. It's gonna show up. So now I'm giving you this little tool you can easily do in your home, in your backyard, by yourself, to just let go and release and start the healing process from the inside out. After a long week of personal growth and healing, it was time to enjoy the view and drink my last cup of sea moss to end the night. Today is my last day at this healing center and I am so excited that I came here. I feel so good. I feel rejuvenated. I feel ready to go back home and take on the world and continue growing my business. And I came here with a little bit of brain fog and that's definitely been lifted. So I will be back and hopefully you'll join me next time. I wanted to give you an update. I've been home for a few months now since my trip to Honduras and I have to say I'm feeling pretty amazing. My brain fog is gone. I don't have the mental fog or the uncomfortableness in my brain that was here and also that thickness and that heaviness in my throat. I feel like my speech is better. I can grab and formulate those words that I was talking about. My staff has noticed too 
that I'm not forgetting things as often, which is great. And I also had some of my clients that I haven't seen for a while tell me that I look amazing. Um, and they were actually wondering and asking what I did because they could even see a difference. I thought I could just feel it from the inside, but people are actually recognizing that I look different from the outside. And I have to say that's because I've gotten rid of a lot of the inflammation and a lot of that mucus that was hanging around. And I can contribute that all to the herbs and going to this healing center and continuing to eat alkaline. I'm also continuing to drink my sea moss at night, which helps me with getting all the minerals that my body requires to sustain my energy and that way it's not searching in my body for minerals it's right there for it to absorb so part of this experience not only I know is it really good for myself but I know that it's such a healing process for people to go from healing from the inside out and I'm excited to go back again but I'm excited this next time to take people with me Now as a bonus, I'm going to show you how to prepare sea moss and also how I drink it. Okay, the first thing you want to do is most likely you're probably going to get sea moss that is like this in a bag, a Ziploc. So when you take it out, just know that it has not been sorted or cleaned. This is directly from Honduras. Sometimes you'll see a feather in there. Sometimes you'll see little rocks or stones, things like that. So we're just going to go through and I'm going to separate it. And I put it in something like this. That way we can get all the water out. And then you want to rinse it because sometimes you'll see little rocks or little debris in there that you want to just make sure that you clear out. So you're just going to massage it to break it up and make sure that all the dirt and all the sand from the ocean gets off of it. So then after you've rinsed it, you just put it in your bowl. You can kind of go through it again and make sure that there's nothing left in here, a little debris. And then you want to fill it with uh, either... Uh, alkaline water, spring water, even distilled you can, but you're just gonna pour just enough to get to the top of it. And it's best to leave this soaking overnight. Now we're going to heat it for about one minute just to kind of soften it before we put it in the blender. So one thing about making the sea moss is you wanna make sure you have a really strong blender like a Vitamix or a Ninja, something that has a sharp blade and is really going to break it up because we're not heating up the sea moss for very long. It's just like a minute to soften it. Or like I said, if you leave it soaking overnight, it'll be softer and you can just blend it. But it'll be a better consistency. Otherwise you might have little chunks, which is fine. I don't mind it. But if you want a smooth and not as gritty, then you want a really good blender. So it's gonna be nice and warm. And we're just gonna pour it into mason jars. Glass is always better. And you see how it's coming out thick? So this is kinda of gonna turn into a gel. And you wanna keep this in the refrigerator. So what you'll do is just take a couple of spoonfuls like this. And then you can add a hot water to it and mix it and it's gonna turn into a tea. Now I drink this straight with nothing added to it. But you can put some cinnamon in there, some cayenne or a little bit of agave and that will help sweeten it up a little bit for you to get it in. You can also, if you make smoothies in the morning, just take a couple of scoops of that and put it directly into your smoothie. Our body needs 106 different minerals and you're getting over 90 by just drinking sea moss. So the benefit is, is your body's gonna feel nourished, it's gonna feel complete, it's not gonna go into the bones to try to search for those minerals and those nutrients. So when I've had clients drink this right away, within two weeks, they don't have any more joint pain. So for me, it also takes away that hunger pain. I feel nourished. I don't, I feel satisfied. I don't have those cravings because my body is getting what it needs. A good two cups of this in the evening on an empty stomach is great. Cheers. <laughs>